Today we want to speak about the question, how can I thicken the trunk of my bonsai? Hi, we are here in my greenhouse south of Munich, Germany, where I store most of my broadleaf deciduous trees over winter. Today we want to speak about the question, how can I thicken the trunk of my bonsai? Well, if you ask that simple question on the internet, you get answers like, well, put it in your garden, let it grow, come back in five years, and then we'll speak about it. That's not very helpful, because that's not your real problem, unless you have to stick in the pot, and then you may want to do that. But normally, people have the following problem. They have a nice looking tree, which they really like, and they want to know, how can I thicken that trunk? I do everything possible, I, I feed it, uh, and it does not really grow thicker. But okay, first of all, we will have to understand why a trunk thickens. Most people think that it's because he's fed, like if you feed a dog, it grows thicker. If you feed yourself, you grow thicker, and if you feed yourself more, you grow even thicker. And they think that happens with the tree. No, it does not happen. The tree feeds himself. How does that go? Well, uh, the, the roots take up water with some ingredients which come from fertilizing. The bird is not feeding, the bird is fertilizing. So, and with these ingredients, the, the water comes up to the foliage or the needles, wherever something is green. And there, with the help of sun um, and carbon dioxide from the air, uh, the wonder of photosynthesis happens and this creates energy in the form of, of carbon hydrates, sugar, starch, etc. Wood. Okay, and this is the energy that the tree takes and lives off. So uh, the tree then puts all this energy down uh, in, in, in and stores it in, in the twigs, in the, in the branches, in the trunk, and in the roots. And then the roots can grow and bring up some water again. So it is the other way around. It is not the roots that feed the tree, it is the tree that feeds the roots. If you under, understand that, then you will also understand that there is an engine which creates energy and, and which it, the energy is stored and that fattens trunks and branches and roots okay the more of the engine you have the more storage happens and the, the the more thickness growth happens okay so all you have to do is increase this engine make it bigger get more foliage uh, and this is by just letting the tree grow so the, the book tells you to pinch back and keep the tree nice every day so you really like to look at it. Unfortunately, that's only for finished trees. Now your question was asked about it, a tree which you want to develop. For developing, you can't forget the idea of always having a nice tree. You must do some things which actually make the tree look pretty ugly for a while, but are helpful and later on uh, it will be much better. So you have to sacrifice momentary beauty for future quality. Okay, so you let grow the green, you don't pinch it, you let it grow about eight to ten weeks after the buds break open. In my area that's usually by the end of June, beginning of July, and then you cut back, and then you let grow again, and then you cut back. If you do that, you have much, much more energy that's created and that is stored in the branches in the trunk than, than you had before and your trunk all of a sudden will start growing. So if you continue this over a couple of years uh, you will have tremendous growth like this thing for example that was a stick in the pot like, like one and a half fingers uh, about 15 years ago and now it's about four times that width which is okay it's not sensational but it's okay so you see it can happen but you have to develop the tree one thing uh, which you have to understand is if you do what i told you you will create thickness of the trunk at the same time thickness of the branches and also ramification 
However, the tree usually has the habit of growing much stronger on top than on the lower parts. So if you just like grow and hack back, like grow and hack back, after a while you will have a much thicker trunk, but unfortunately the lower branches will be thinner than the upper ones because up there all the strength goes into the upper branches and they grow much stronger than the lower branches. So you have to work against this, okay? You have to let grow and cut back first on the top, let's say after four weeks or so. And then let, and down here you let grow totally out as far as possible over the next 10 weeks or so. And then you cut back everything and then you do the whole thing over again. So you have to work against what is called apical dominance of the tree. Fine. If you, however, have a tree which is already very nice, the proportions are nice, and really all it needs is thickening of the trunk, then you use a branch on the back side. You let this grow up two meters, seven feet, and freely for one year, two years, and that will pump up the trunk and leave the rest alone because the rest you, you treat like you always used to. Okay. So, that's about the methods you have. I spoke about a broadleaf deciduous tree, which is a uh, field maple, hedge maple as you call it, uh, and it's a, a European tree which is used for bonsai and it's a very nice thing. Well, this is not a world-class tree and never will be, but I'm happy with it. And it is still has about 10 years to go. Okay, and then it will look pretty good. What, what I said before is mostly true also for conifers. So also conifers you can treat just the same way, let grow, cut back, let grow, cut back. Only it's much slower. So instead of 10 years it takes 20 years. Anyway, I wish you good luck. Thank you very much.